and people coming from different uh, parts of the city, from different sectors, from different uh, intellectual background and ability and skills uh, to offer the support and the help and uh, to share their ideas with uh, the rest of the people uh, of this uh, city. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the essential question of uh, is, is London uh, able or, or ready to be uh, known as a digital destination? So in the session, we'll explore what is the definition of a de digital destination and uh, look at all the various components that I've outlined uh, and expand on those hopefully and have a good conversation about what we have and what we might be missing as far as gaps go. Thank you very much. Um, I've been working on this initiative for some time. It uh, is London an age-friendly city and looking for ways that we can make London more age-friendly. I've been doing a bit of a survey uh, uh, for some time as well, getting some feedback, getting a few numbers, but what we really need to do is have a conversation about how we get the job done. I guess what I'm interested in getting a sense of is what assets are, are there in London that would differentiate London as a place to start a business. That's right. Irrespective yeah. of, of, you know, the, the gaming industry or digital media work, but from a technology perspective, yeah. what assets do we have? How can we differentiate ourselves? How do we bring new business to, to the city? Or how do we incent people who live here? Or who go to school here okay. to develop business here. I'm with Digital Extremes. I'm okay, Digital Extremes. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the, the brief, the brief little session we just had there? What did you take out of that? What do you think needs to be done generally? Oh, uh, I think it's a great session. I think it's a, a time for the City of London to, to work with all of its partners in industry, uh, universities and colleges, and the municipality, the City of London, to get together and to start to develop a little bit of a plan on digital media, set some, uh, set some very simple goals on what we'd like to see. And me personally, I'd like to see more um, focus on developing a vibrant digital media culture yeah. in the City of London. And that involves setting up physical places, preferably say in the downtown where we can bring students, professionals, and start to have a bigger and better dialogue about what being digital means. Well, I, actually, I actually think it's time we started thinking outside the box instead of falling back on the old traditions. I think right. you know we have the ability to become a great medium-sized city, and I don't think we're anywhere near to realizing our potential. And yeah. this is one of the ways I believe it's the way of the future, and I, I'm happy to explore this and even become a champion for yeah. it. The more I'm involved, the more I think it can happen. I mean, with the with the with what's happening in economically at a lot of municipalities, a lot of their industries are, are dying, fading out. It, do you think it's time, from a city perspective, they really should look to new horizons such as the digital media? I, I think so, and I don't think it's been paid the attention it deserves. I know everybody jumped, jumped on the transportation hub bandwagon, and it yeah. may or may not be a good idea. Uh, the verdict's still out. But we have uh, an economic development fund that we've set up for now, and I think we've got to be really careful in how we allocate the funds, because once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone yeah. And I'd hate to think we're moving backwards instead of forward. It's
Paul, you're here at Agenda Camp today. What what is it that brings you here? What what is it that interests you about these sort of sessions? Really, just to learn uh, about what people are thinking in the community and uh, hopefully get some ideas about how we might move forward in the future. Yeah. Is there any specific element of the camp itself that you find most interesting, or? I find the process interesting. I think it's a it's an interesting thing to get people together in a forum like this. It's pretty collaborative. Yeah. I think it's pretty positive, pretty useful. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. From a journalistic perspective, do you think these sort of sessions can actually institute change? What do you think about that? I think that we should be open to everything. Um, you know, a lot of the ideas are new, and a lot of the ideas are very old. Uh, you know, there are always good ideas there. It's whether we can grab a hold of the one that is important and, and, and run with it, and, uh, and maybe this process can help us do that. But, I, but the end result is creating jobs. It's a hurting city. Yep. There's a whole bunch of people in this room right now with jobs. They're not starving. They're not going to wonder what they're going to eat tonight. But about 10,000 families here in London are. Um, that's another thing where I think governments need to address the fact about core funding for nonprofits that address issues that are pertaining to society right now instead of per project funding. They really need to give these 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 organizations some teeth so they can operate year round and not have to worry about developing new projects so they can get funding to keep existing. You know, generally job creation within a city of London. How important of an issue is that do you think looking into the future? To me, this is probably the most important issue facing London right now. We've second highest unemployment in Canada a few months ago, which was shocking to me. This is London, Ontario. Uh, so we have to find a way to adapt to the new economy and to me, creating new jobs, whether it's through green industries or other high-tech industries, is the key to keeping our young people here and, and making London a prosperous city. Yeah. How much role does government play in that? Government should be acting as a facilitator uh, or a catalyst to, uh, to, to help businesses and institutions create these jobs, but government itself is not the solution.